Hi guys, today I want to show you the new procedural tiles system. First I create a new project, tiles. We have to add tiles asset package for using uh, the pre-made prefabs uh, of uh, procedural tiles. Okay, we show only prefabs. These are all the predefined prefabs made using procedural tiles. We create a new scene. These are the pre-made prefabs created using procedural tiles. Okay. First floor. Every procedural tile has this check that are used for showing or hiding each of the six sides of uh, the tile. The parameter tile dim is used for defining the uh, horizontal sides of the floor. Okay. Wall late parameter is used for uh, uh, setting the height of uh, the floor. Okay. Okay. The second. Uh, tile is the wall. The wall uh, has the tile dim parameter that uh, is used for, uh, for set the length of the wall. Wall height parameter that is used for setting the height of the wall. Wall depth is used for uh, uh, setting the depth of the wall. There are other parameters. As door is used for uh, create a hole inside the wall for uh, uh, placing a door. As window is used for creating uh, a window hole inside the wall. As a frame is used if you create a window and also if you create a door and is used for creating a frame around the door and around the window. Okay. Below there are uh, the parameters of the door and or of the window you created. About the door you can set the width of the door. Okay. And the height of the door. Okay. Door uh, eight parameter is used also for uh, defining uh, the position of the window. The window is uh, created uh, aligned with uh, the door eight. So Increasing the height of the door will increase the y position of the window. Okay, window width is the same as door width, and window height is the height of the window. That is the same as the height of the door. For making uh, things faster, I have uh, just uh, created uh, default prefabs for uh, wall with door and wall with uh, window. Uh, stairs are used for creating stairs. In this case, style dim is the width of the stairs, and wall height is uh, the height of the stairs ramp. Step eight, the step depth are used for increasing the, the height of every single step of the stairs. Of course, they also affect the depth of uh, the stairs ramp. Also, the step depth is used for uh, increase the depth of every single step of the stairs and also this uh, affects 
the stair depth. I have also implemented an edges parameter that is used can be used for making edges for the stairs ramp. Another tile type is the column. Column has tile dim that is used for setting the horizontal sides of the column. Wall 8 is used for defining the height of the column. Top and bottom are used for making a top and a bottom geometry for the, for the column. And the cap is used for creating a pyramidal geometry on top of the column. The last parameter is the height of this pyramid. Uh, the last type of tile is uh, the roof. The roof has tiled in parameter that is uh, the length of the roof. Wall 8 is the height of the roof. And uh, roof width is uh, the width of the roof. Uh, corner is used for uh, creating corner roof. The last parameter is used for uh, for making an offset for uh, the roof uh, respect to the wall. For example, if we create, uh, if we place a wall uh, using the snap grid, and we want to place on top of the wall the roof. Uh, The roof is aligned with the wall uh, using uh, the uh, snap. Okay, it is aligned, and you can use the edge of offset for uh, making an offset respect to the wall. Okay, guys, for now is all. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye.